Hey, it's Marcus from Holosuite, here to help experimental artists make more, better music. Okay, so you're planning your first release and you wanna put it out with a label, hopefully on cassette or vinyl, but you're not really sure where to start? Well, here are my top tips on how to contact tape labels. Do your homework. If you wanna approach a label, at least make sure to listen to some of the music on that label and make sure that your music is going to fit in with that catalog. Then when you're approaching the label owner, you can highlight some specific releases that you particularly liked or that might match your music. This shows that you care, but it also makes the label owner's job easier because they already have an idea whether your music is going to mesh well with their releases. And it should go without saying, but do not send demos to places that specifically say they don't accept demos. You're not gonna hear back from them. Put your tracks into a private Spotify playlist. Label owners love it when you share your tracks as a playlist. Don't send MP3s, you're just gonna clog up their hard disk. Some label owners have told me that they won't even open uh, an email that has MP3s attached to it just because they're too busy. Um, so don't send them MP3s. I recommend using Spotify because it's easy to set up and easy to use. Just make sure that you make that playlist private. Labels want exclusivity. So that also means if you've released your tracks somewhere else previously, make sure to take them down before you share that private playlist have the final release ready before you share. While some label owners might accept just a few tracks um, as a sample or something that's gonna be bigger, uh, they would prefer to have the full release. They wanna know exactly what they're gonna get from you. This can be also helpful for the label owner to be able to determine the side length as they may have some restrictions on that depending on the manufacturers that they use. Don't get mastering done until you talk with a label. While you can approach a mastering engineer before you talk to a label, don't get the actual mastering done until after you've received a response. This is because some labels might actually pay for the mastering for you, or they might insist on using their own in-house mastering engineers. So it's worth having that conversation with them before you decide to pull the trigger on mastering. Don't give up. Tape levels are mostly one person operations. They're getting a lot of demos. So don't be disheartened if you don't hear back from them straight away. There are a couple of ways to increase your chances. The first is to approach as many labels as you can. Just make sure you do your due diligence. And the other is to send a very gentle follow-up after maybe a month if you haven't heard back from them. As long as you show them respect and consideration with a bit of persistence and a bit of time, eventually someone will get back to you. Well, that's all my tips for now. Good luck to you in your first release. Let me know how it goes in the comments. If you have any questions, throw them down there too and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you found this useful, you might want to check out my free guide on how to use Bandcamp to get more followers and sales. There's a link in the description below. And please do like and subscribe for more content on making and releasing experimental music. Cheers.